In this video, we will be solving a couple of three-part inequalities. When you're solving a three-part inequality, you want to do the same thing to all three expressions in each step. So just like with an equation or a regular two-part inequality, you do the same thing on both sides. Well, we have three parts. We have the part here that's to the left of the inequality symbol. Then we have the part that's in between the two inequality symbols. And then we have the part to the right of the inequality symbols. So we need to do the same thing to all three parts. And our main objective is to isolate x in the middle part. So first thing I want to do then is to remove this negative 8. I'll do that by adding 8 to all three parts. And that'll cancel in the middle part. And I have 1 plus 8 is 9 on this left part, less than or equal to. And then I now have 6x in the middle. And then less than or equal to 4 plus 8 is 12. Uh, one more step to isolate x. Since 6 is multiplied by x, I'm going to divide all three parts by 6. This will cancel, and I now have x in the middle. Um, 9 over 6 simplifies to 3 halves, and 12 over 6 simplifies to 2. So this is the solution to this three-part inequality. x is between 3 halves and 2. Do another one. Now, you don't often see greater than symbols in a three-part inequality. It's OK here because you'll notice that this negative 1 is smaller than the 4. That has to be true in order for those to point to the right. So let's just go ahead and work with all three parts like we did on the previous one. Let's subtract 5. The 5's will cancel, and 4 minus 5 is negative 1, is greater than, and then I just have negative 6 in the middle, negative 6x, and then is greater than, and then negative 1 and negative 5 is negative 6. Now to isolate my x, I need to divide all three parts by negative 6. And when I do that, these will cancel, and I'll have x in the middle. But remember that when you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, you have to change the direction of your inequality sign. So instead of pointing to the right now, I need for those to be less than symbols. And then negative 1 divided by negative 6 is 1 sixth. And negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. And notice that now it's the normal. Usually with a three-part inequality, you'll see less than symbols. And the reason is usually this number is smaller than this number on the right. So um, this is more of what you would see normally. Here's my solution. X is between 1 sixth and 1.